Hello and welcome to Indus News. Coming to you from our studios in Lahore, I am Fiza Jamal. These are the top stories of this hour. Pakistan and U.S. have agreed to push for an intra-Afghan dialogue to seek a political solution in Afghanistan. U.S. Special Envoy Zalmay Khalilzad briefed Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi on his recent engagements in the region for Afghan peace. Khalilzad is in Islamabad, where he will also meet Prime Minister Imran Khan to discuss Afghan peace process. Next up, at least 21 people have been killed in a car bomb explosion in Colombia's capital, Bogota. Colombian police said 68 others were injured after the attacker rammed the explosives-laden car into a police training school. Meanwhile, in a revamped U.S. missile defense strategy, Washington has called North Korea an ongoing and extraordinary threat. U.S. President Trump previously said that Pyongyang's threat had been eliminated. North Korea's lead negotiator Kim Yong-chol is in Washington to finalize a second summit aimed at denuclearization. In another development, Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said that U.S. owes over a billion dollars to the United Nations. In a letter, Guterres warned that peacekeeping missions are expected to face liquidity gaps due to late payments and arrears. To India, where 40 people have died from swine flu in the past two weeks in January alone, over 1,400, including ruling BJP's President Amit Shah, have tested positive for the deadly disease. These are all the top stories for now. Follow us online for more updates on Indus.news.